Hello and welcome to the Tuesday, April 25th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from San Francisco, California. Today's a bit of a Patch Tuesday kind of episode with patches from a number of vendors. But uh, before we jump to patches, let's catch up on an issue I didn't cover last week. Sophos and others are reporting about the use of Orkill by ransomware gangs. Orkill uses the bring your own vulnerable driver technique to disable endpoint protection agents. The driver in use by Orkill is an older known vulnerable driver from Process Explorer. Process Explorer, of course, comes from SysInternal. It's part of Microsoft, so it's a valid signed, which is part of what makes this driver so interesting. The issue that this driver is vulnerable to has been known till 2021. It has been patched since then, but of course, this old driver is still signed, it's still valid, so it can still be loaded in operating systems. And with that, it can be used for privilege escalation. This particular driver apparently was also used in the open source tool Backstab. Orkill is sort of based on Backstab and uh, it uses then the privileges it gets from this driver to disable endpoint protection agents. And by the way, uh, patching here is not really going to help you because the attacker is essentially installing this out-of-date driver for you. So even if you are patched, you're still vulnerable to this privilege escalation attack. More details about this particular attack and how it's now being used to distribute ransomware can be found in Sophos's blog. So with that, let's talk about vulnerabilities and exploits. In early March, uh, two vulnerabilities were patched for PaperCut. PaperCut is a print management software package, usually sort of in enterprises, larger companies. The vulnerabilities that were patched allow for remote code execution. As of last week, the vulnerability has been exploited in the wild. We now have more details about this vulnerability and exploit code from Horizon 3 AI. The Horizon 3 blog not only explains the vulnerability in detail, but also shows how an attack can be spotted in the log. So there's really some good data in here uh, for defenders as well. You should assume compromise if you run into an unpatched and exposed copy of paper cut. And that's where sort of uh, some of these details about what you'll see in your logs will come in handy. And SolarWinds released platform update 2023.2. Two of the patched vulnerabilities are rated high with CVSS scores of 8.8 .8 and 7.8. They can lead to code execution, but do require SolarWinds administrative credentials. So a vulnerability that would be interesting to an attacker who has gotten these uh, credentials to SolarWinds and is now trying to expand their access and also building a foothold within the system. And well, back to Horizon 3. Horizon 3 is also expected to soon release an exploit for the VMware vRealize log vulnerability that was patched last week. And APC, also known as Schneider Electric, uh, released an update for its easy UPS online monitoring software. The update fixes two vulnerabilities in particular that uh, can be used to execute code remotely without authentication. Actually, the way this apparently works is that the attacker can change administrative credentials and then use the new credentials to then execute arbitrary code. There's also a third vulnerability that's really just a denial of service vulnerability. The software is not running on the UPS itself, but on Windows systems connected to the UPS. So the code execution would actually then affect uh, these Windows systems. Updates have been made available. 
And VirusTotal announced a new tool, a VirusTotal Code Insight, that uses an AI model to analyze potential malware. The tool is based on Google Cloud Secure AI Workbench. And what a Secure AI Workbench does is that you can give it a code snippet and it will then describe what the code does in more or less plain English. So it will, for example, tell you that this particular code implements a keylogger. VirusTotal will make this information then available as part of its threat intelligence. And you can then, if you have subscribed to that feature, for example, search for some of these keywords like keystroke logger or so added by code inside. Well, and is it for today? Of course, I'm here for uh, RSA. If you see me uh, tomorrow, say hi. And uh, again, I do have some stickers with me. So hope to see some of you also at the keynote on Wednesday afternoon. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.